Hi, welcome to Shirt Studio TV. Today we're going to show you how to iron a shirt. Make it simple and easy for you. Within five minutes have your shirt pressed, iron and ready to go. Okay, before we start, we need to have good tools to do this effectively. So, first thing we always suggest is a good quality ironing board. Something that's quite wide, has a lot more surface area, and high enough and strong enough and sturdy enough. Secondly, obviously, is the iron. Good quality iron with a Teflon finished base, spray feature, and a steam feature as well. And I'll go through that a little bit later when we're pressing the shirt and why that's so important. Unlike other places, I don't like to use a spray board. I believe the good quality iron will have a good enough spray feature in it. Okay, so let's grab the shirt and see how we go. Okay, we've got our shirt here. So the first thing we want to do is lay it flat down. Take out any collar stays, whether the plastic or the steel ones. Remember, these shouldn't be put in the washing machine anyway. Okay, first thing we do is lay the collar flat and just lightly press out any crease marks. Okay, flip it on the front as well and iron out any crease marks there. Important thing now to do is actually fold it down straight on the crease line because if you want that nice crisp collared look whether you're wearing a shirt, whether you're wearing the shirt open or whether you're wearing it with a tie, this is the best way to do it. So press it over, quick steam. Now what I did there was I actually lifted the iron off the actual shirt so it doesn't affect the fusing at all. Right. So now we go to the front. We're actually going to start with the front panel and we're going to rotate the shirt all the way through to make it easy. I'm going to iron out the shirt flat. This is why it helps having a wide ironing board. I'm going to do a quick press over the top and then I'm going to use the spray feature and spray the shirt with water. Ideally, if you can get the shirt out of the washing machine a little bit damp, helps the shirt iron a lot easier. If you can't do that, and you're leaving a busy life like myself, sometimes you won't get back to your shirts for another few days after they come out of the washing machine, use the spray. The spray water is your friend. It's going to help the shirt iron out quickly, effectively and easily. Now again, what we're doing is just going straight through. Okay. And I'm going to spray this again. Hold out the creases. And at this time now, I'm also going to use the the steam feature as well. So we keep on working the shirt through now on the second half of the back. Quick iron first. Bit of spray. And some steam. Okay, and as you can see, you just keep rotating it right through the front. Now this actually saves you a lot more time. You can adopt using the spray method first with a little bit of steam and then the iron. It's totally up to you. But if you use all three methods at once, it makes it a lot easier for the shirt to come out crisp and clean. A good quality shirt should really not take you more than three to five minutes to iron. If you're finding a cotton shirt that's taking longer than that, You've either, high, either bought something that's a very high-end quality cotton, like a Sea Island cotton, or probably a low-grade Poplin cotton, which can be a nightmare to iron. So what I do now is just take the end of the ironing board and put the shoulder on it. I'm just going to use the steam here. Again, the whole idea is to make it easy for yourself so you're not taking the shirt off and on the ironing board. We're going to rotate it through, and that's the back there. Over to the other shoulder. Good bit of steam. So now that front, back, and shoulder, and the collar of the shirt's done. Now we're going to do the sleeves. Sleeves with a French cuff can be a little bit of a challenge at times. And the important thing is to make sure you flatten the sleeve. Spray it flat, a bit of water, spray and straight over the top. I'm going to follow the crease lines in the shirt. Press over the cuffs, the double cuffs quickly. 
and then flip it onto the other side. Do the same again. I'm just going to quickly now also put the armhole at the end as well because I just want to get rid of this crease here. Fold the cuff back into the position that you would wear the coupling. Fix steam over there. This here. Now, obviously, if you're going to put it on your back, start wearing it away you go. If you're going to put it in the wardrobe, the first thing you want to do is actually do the top button up, use a wooden hanger. The reason we use wooden hangers is they're three times to four times thicker than a wire hanger, and they're actually going to hold the shape of the shirt a lot better over a longer period of time. The reason we do the top button up is the minute it goes into the wardrobe is it's not going to move around as much and then start creasing up again. So when we pull it out, you go, oh, geez, I've got to find this again. Okay? So here you go. Easy to do. Within five minutes, ready to roll.